Hello and good morning. It's Anne Murphy here from Domesticity. How are you? And welcome to this pantry organization kickstart. And uh, this month, as part of the April challenge, I'm challenging you all to give your pantries a good going over. That is to um, organize what you have there, get rid of anything that's out of um, date and give it a good clean and uh, it doesn't have to be all done in one day which is what I'm going to show you today if you make that start you can um, certainly get um, get moving and uh, get it all done hi Jane good morning um, I'm crouching down because if I stand up well you won't see my face um, so that you can see the pantry here is my pantry this um, was a cupboard that belonged to my nana and she used it as her pantry and when she passed away no one wanted it so I thought it held um, great memories for me and I wanted it. It actually used to be a, um, I used to use it as the appliance cupboard so I had all the appliance, kitchen appliances in there and then the area, I've got a very small pantry, a very small kitchen which I love, I'm not... Um, one to want to have a big kitchen it just works perfectly for me um, and the area that is designated for the pantry uh, just wasn't working but I'm going to make it work I'm going to get some slide out pools and some baskets on top but that's uh, one of those things um, on the list of things to do good morning Nikki how are you um, and I I love this pantry it works for me I want to um, add a disclaimer here that you're going to see a messy pantry, but it's I still know where everything is. I guess when you have um, lots of other family members grabbing things and putting things away, it's never either put back in the right place or it's um, just kind of shoved in there. Uh, but everything is still um, still a very usable pantry. I still use it all the time, but. When it gets messy like that it starts to make me get all twitchy and you know when things tip over and you know bottles um, don't have the lids put on them properly then it starts to um, and makes the baskets messy so what I've got is a tub of uh, warm uh, water with a little one drop of um, dishwashing detergent but it's must be a concentrate because it's really um, really bubbled up a lot just a cleaning cloth um, a good old nappy to wipe down the shelves a tea towel to wash the baskets as I go and if they need a bit more of a scrub I've got a little scrubbing brush so I'm only going to do one shelf at a time and um, that's how I encourage you to do it if you've got the time to do the whole lot in one go by all means do it but that's when I kind of feel like it's overwhelming as well when you've got children like my children are older now so it's not too bad but when you've got young children there's so much unpredictability um, and you could have all good intentions of cleaning out your entire pantry for the whole um, in one go and then something will come up and then you'll have um, all of your pantry items out in the kitchen hours pass and then you've got to try and cook dinner so that's why I encourage you to break all of these organizing jobs down into smaller tasks and um, just chip away at it you know I've got the accountability um, thread every Monday in the group if you say I'm going to do one shelf in my pantry uh, stick to it and then come back Sunday and tell us how you went and um, be accountable for what you plan to do so um, I'm going to get started uh, I also want to add, this is my reason, I am not a believer in having containers and beautifully labelled containers. Um, I was raised by my mother obviously and grandparents, my grandmother who didn't have all of that and I don't think it's necessary. I don't believe that there's anything wrong with the box that some of these products come in. Um, I do have a couple of containers for flour and sugar to keep the ants and the um, pantry moth out and a few other little things, but um, it's just straight from the supermarket, straight into its um, allotted area, and that's it. I keep it simple. 
um, if you are one to have labelled containers and all matching, by all means go right ahead. But for me, that's a big job. I did do all that years ago, had all the Tupperware um, containers all matching, and it's just a big job. So um, mine's not like that. This is my pantry. So as you can see, everything is just shoved in. Um, when I get back from the shopping, I just kind of put things in their allotted spaces. Uh, if someone takes sources out, they um, kind of don't get back, put back in the right place. But that's all going to be fixed today. I also um, forgot to say, I've got a box here. So as I take one basket out i'm going to put the um, products um, in here as i go and i've also got another box just for um, throwing out the, anything that's expired or um i don't know about donating if it's if i think it's expired well then i probably wouldn't want anyone else to use it so um it's just a matter of starting at um, one end and then Keep going. I've got a little um, cockroach bait in there that will probably need um, updating. So I've got the vanilla in this um, section, which doesn't belong here. It belongs with the uh, baking supplies. So I'll just put that over there. This is a basket that I keep all of my stock powders in. Um, I always like to have a backup because I um, use this these stock powders all the time. Um, I have been buying my tomato paste in the jar and freezing it now, but I do still have some um, sachets. Why is it when I start on a live that the perspiration just pours out of me? It's such a beautiful, cool day today. Um, I've got some green split peas here that don't belong there. And some salt, some uh, lovely um, San Juan blend salt. They probably don't belong there either. So I'm just going to give um, that basket a bit of a wash. And plus get my cleaning cloth. I like to fold my cleaning cloths in... Um, Four, so that you've got um, eight surfaces to clean with and then I'll just give that a wipe give the shelf a wipe I don't know if anyone can remember but my mother and grandmother used to uh, line their uh, cupboards with newspaper their shelves um, the um, pantry shelves and it just made it so easy for cleaning they would just take it out and put new stuff in I'll just give this um, basket a bit of a wipe oh so I'm getting water everywhere on the floor it's not too bad I know the sauce um, containers are going to be a lot worse because they tip over And then I'll just give that a good wipe. I do, um, I guess if I did have time today, I'd probably try and do two shelves, but I've got to take my son who's on school holidays um, to the movies at 11. So that's just how things happen when you've got kids. And, and I could plan today just to have... Um, a lot um, this time to doing the pantry so when you're putting things back if you've got brand new tins you know put them behind um, the tins that um, need using up first and that's one basket done now if you've if I come across anything else well then I know that I've got room to um, put them in, in there. 
So this basket, my next one, and these wire baskets, I don't know, I think I've had them for for years and they've served um, lots of different purposes. They've been in the bathroom, um, they've been all over the place. I can't even get this one out. So this is supposed to be all the um, spreads and as you can see there's protein powder, there's some barbecue sauce I bought last week for our ribs that we're going to have this week. I'll just quickly put that in with the sauces. So we've got the usual Vegemite and peanut butters. Got a backup peanut butter, backup um, pickles, some peaches in cinnamon, which doesn't belong there. Coconut oil probably doesn't belong there. Salad dressing, which is an overflow that can go in with the sauces. Some more salt, um, custard powder, which doesn't belong there. <coughs> and glucose syrup, which certainly doesn't belong there. So, as you can see, when you're in a hurry, these things um, can get messed up. Just give the shelf a wipe. Give the basket a wipe. This one doesn't um, look too bad. And as I'm putting these spreads and um, sandwich spreads and condiments, I guess, pickles, things like pickles back, no doubt I will find other things in other areas of the pantry that um, will go back there. So it's just a, a good opportunity. These sort of things you can save for spring cleaning or um, once every couple of months. But, you know, if, you, if you're on your own, you know, you can keep on top of these things all the time. But when you're a busy mum or busy woman... You can just chip away at these um, tasks once a week and get it done. Now this is all of my um, tin food. This is also another reason why I don't stockpile. I um, have just enough. enough for the month um, with a couple of extras but just things like chopped tomatoes coconut milk uh, tins of beans this um, soup mix is really good for um, salads and stews and um, soups always have lots of tinned tomatoes baked beans this cream, creamy pumpkin soup was given to me and I'm not a fan of canned soup, so I will um, get rid of that. Two cans of beetroot. I just know that um, tinned um, can of pumpkin soup is um, has been there for a while and I thought I might have been able to use it up, but I'm just not a fan at all of any kind of canned soup. I hope you don't think I'm being a snob, but um, homemade soups just taste so much better. There's even a couple of little cobwebs on that one. And give that a wipe. Yeah, these 
baskets. I think you can get them from Kmart or Bunnings. Um, you might even be able to find some in the um, Goodwill stores, the op shops. Just put it all back. I've been finding the Coles home brand of tomatoes really good. The only um, thing is they don't have a ring pull can, a ring pull top. So um, you have to use a can opener like, heaven forbid, how did we cope without, um, without a ring pull can all those years ago? And they're only 60 cents and they're a good quality um, canned tomato. So. so still plenty of room in there for more cans. And just face them up and then there's just one more to go I'm not really sure what this one looks like this one's supposed to be um, things like citric acid and baking powder bicarb soda whole peppercorns uh, there's tea bags in there I don't know how long they've been in there I'll get rid of those same as these other ones, some old black pepper, whole peppercorns I keep, cream of tartar, these are also my baking beans, so if ever I'm baking pastry, these are just chickpeas, I should have them marked, but because I'm the only one, I'm the only cook in the house, um, I know exactly what they are, and it's in a cherry jar, so no one's going to open that and use that as cherry, so I know exactly um, what that's for. It's an old pepper container, citric acid and tahini. Now I'll put the tahini with the spreads, even though I use it for um, lots of other things. It is very much like a nut paste, so I'll put that with the peanut butter. These um, individual sachets of Twinings tea. I've got a whole um, tea case full of Twinings tea, so I don't know how they even got in there. Um, if They're just taking up space and they're not going to get used. Just throw it out. They might have just been given to me. I'm not sure. And just give that a wipe down. Yeah, this cupboard brings back so much, so many memories um, of my grandmother. And uh, when I say that my mother and grandmother didn't have any fancy containers or pantries, um, very small pantries, they still managed really well. They cooked everything from scratch. Um, even my Nana grew all her own fruit and vegetables. Um, she very rarely ate bread, so she didn't make bread a lot. Um, if anyone ever came over, she would probably buy a loaf from her local bakery. But thing I was telling my husband the other day we were watching some home reno show and you know the first thing they say is oh this kitchen needs to go it's not enough storage space it's too small it needs more cupboards and it's funny because so many um, people are cooking less and less from scratch but they're wanting bigger kitchens and bigger pantries big walk-in pantries which I just can't work out. I love my little kitchen. It's just the perfect little working triangle from fridge to stove to bench top. I don't have to walk for miles to get anything or have a lot of um, space to clean. I'll just put these. So I use the whole peppercorn still. Baking powder. I might just wipe the tops of those. No doubt I will find other um, cooking type um, 
or baking type ingredients throughout the pantry. Just give the containers a bit of a wipe too as you go. I always have um, these things, cream of tartar and citric acid, those things don't ever go off. And I'll actually put my, no I won't put my vanilla in there, I've got another spot for flavourings and things. So that's done, the baking beans, I guess they can go back in there right at the back for now unless they find a spot down the bottom but here we are what's the time Ben my son's just what what time have you got um it's past 10. so 20 minutes probably um spoke a lot of um that time and you can see that it didn't take long to do one shelf uh, take out what baskets you have there even if you don't have baskets you know just kind of keep them sorted sort your um, sort similar ingredients together here are my um, flowers um, I'm not even sure what is in here um, because I just don't use them I'm going to take them out and wash them and use them for other things I think I went to a Tupperware party once and they didn't have what I wanted, so they just supplied that, and I thought, oh, I'm sure I'll find a use for it somehow, somewhere, but it's obviously not serving its purpose. But um, things like this cocoa powder, now to get that, I would certainly label it because it could be um, Gravox. And I have done that before, even using the boxes, I've used cocoa powder instead of Gravox, or Gravox instead of cocoa powder. So. I just keep the things in the box, add a little um, clip, and that does me. It's already labelled. It's in a thin, narrow box that stacks easily. Uh, I've got some other baking supplies in there, tea bags. Um, down the bottom, I've got the sauces, sweet sauces like ice cream toppings and syrups and honey. Then I've got another nightmare which is a job on its own which is my spice box and um, there's um, little things like this where they've been clipped together all the um, spice um, the spice um, jars so I want to have that all um, uniform because every time I cook anything with spices that whole basket comes out to the kitchen so I can find it and I've got to dig through it all. So that's um, been a little bit frustrating, something that I've wanted to work on. So I'll share the details of that. If you're joining in um, for this pantry um, makeover challenge in April, I highly encourage you to take a before and after picture and share it with us in the group. I'm going to... Um, take an after picture once I've finished so that's my goal to have it done by the end of April so we've got just short of two weeks um, you'll feel so much better you'll be able to find things you'll have um, one of the main reasons I guess for having an organized pantry so you're not doubling up on buying things and you can see what you've got and be able to meal plan or um, create your family menu from what's in your pantry so I hope that's helped you and, and inspired you it really didn't take long you can see how much better that um, top shelf looks already um, and as I go through I'll sort out that other mess I've got all sorts of containers here these little um, ones with the handle clear plastic ones are good as well I think you can get them from Kmart but you don't have to go out and buy a whole heap of containers and baskets you could just my mum and um, grandmother didn't have any they would have just had them on the shelf like that all um, stacked together so thank you for um, joining me today and I can't wait to see all your pantries and um, if you have any questions don't forget to ask in the group and I'm going to go and take my son to the movies now and perhaps go for a walk 
by the sea. It's such a beautiful day and the sun's shining and I hope it's nice and sunny where you are today too. So thanks for joining me and I'll catch you again soon. Bye.